So kicking off the week, we come, got a combination of a strength and endurance workout. So we got some strength work to start and then a little bit of aerobic workout to finish. So let's take a look. So we're gonna start with 10 mobility squats. Remember, we're working on loosening up our hips, getting our knees out over toes, giving space for our body to get in between our legs. And then we're gonna reinforce that good mobility with some rig support squat holds. We're gonna work through two sets, then we're gonna come together to work on our tempo for our back squat. Five seconds down, then three seconds down with a three second pause, holding nice and tight at the bottom. And then we're gonna reinforce that with five reps of just regular control down, exploding back up. Then to start off the workout, we're gonna be working on five sets of six. We're gonna build on our front squat, sorry, on our back squat. We're going to be two seconds down with a two second pause. And the two second pause at the bottom is really important because that's teaching us to keep tight as we're progressing towards our single or our max lift test. That's where we wanna have the most tension is right at the bottom of the lift, nice and stable. And then we got a nice 20 continuous movement minutes where we're looking for aerobic capacity. Remember, we wanna be picking a pace where we can continually move through this. We're gonna do four lengths of bear crawl. This is definitely gonna be taxing on your core and shoulder stability. 10 no jump burpees. Great opportunity to get the heart rate down, control your cycle time, lay on the ground for a minute, stand for a second, catch your breath. And then 10 dumbbell hang squat clean thrusters. There's a whole lot of words there, so there's a whole lot of movement. We're gonna come from the hang, clean the dumbbell up, squat it out, and then fire it up as a thruster. And then back, we're going to repeat from the hang position for 10. Ideally, striving to go unbroken here, getting our heart rate back down with the bear crawl, and actually using no jump burpees for recovery. Burpees is recovery. I know many people wouldn't thought we'd ever say that, but here we are. So let's work on slowing our cycle time and making those burpees a little less unpleasant. Looking forward to seeing you to kick off the week tomorrow.